It seems that you've exhausted all your chakra. As your teacher, it's my duty to take you down. This one was just heartbreaking. Despite his pervy nature, Jiraiya had become an endearing mentor figure over the course of the series, highlighted when he chose to confront the leader of the Akatsuki, who ended up turning out to be his old pupil, Nagato. As the Rusengan! While he puts up a valiant fight, even at full power, Jiraiya is grossly unprepared to take on the might of the Six Paths of Pain. Despite meeting his end, he dies with a smile on his face, knowing he has entrusted his will onto Naruto. <laughs> Just barely glorious, but glorious in does indeed have fluid animation, a frantic pace, and a tighter focus on his combatus, this one is all about the feels. After it's revealed that Toby is actually Obito, Kakashi finally gets a chance to get some answers from his thought dead friend. I know Obito. Plus the f of a battle, but by god was it entertaining. As the true final villain, and with more powers than she knows what to do with, Kaguya was an obscenely strong foe. Even with Naruto and Sasuke busting out their new six paths and Rinnegan abilities, it took the aid of their allies to finally put the rabbit goddess down. The fact that Kakashi got a chance to shine with his own Susanoo is just the icing on the cake. This one's been building since day one. After tossing aside his friend's village and reputation for the sake of revenge, Sasuke threw his lot in with the master criminal Orochimaru just to gain the power needed to kill his older brother. Fire style! Fireball Jutsu! Turns out their fated meeting was more than worth the wait. The true force of the Sharingan is revealed as both brothers use every kind of trick in the book in order to slay each other, eventually leading to Sasuke's victory. Of course, the whole thing is flipped on its head when it's revealed that Itachi was a good guy all along. In ruins, the six paths of pain are close to claiming victory. Hope is lost. There's only one knuckle-headed ninja who can save the day. Dead set on avenging Jiraiya and armed with the power of Sage Mode, Naruto finally finds a way to battle pain on an equal level. Sage Watching him use legitimate strategy to defeat each of his foes, while still maintaining the determination that's come to define his character, this fight is a great example of how our protagonist has matured from the jokester he once was. Oh, and yeah, Hinata totally confesses to him mid-battle, so does that too. Because... I love you. After so many ups and downs, the anime couldn't have chosen a better confrontation to go out on. The threats of Kaguya and Madara may be behind them, but Sasuke and Naruto still have to settle the score. As their ideologies clash, the two engage in a fight that somehow manages to balance both spectacle and emotional resonance beautifully. On the one hand, you have jutsu so large in scale that they nearly decimate everything around them, only to be followed by an almost nuanced clash where the two fatigued friends lay on punch after punch, fueled only by sheer willpower. The best of what Naruto can offer can all be witnessed right here. 